You may as well put that straight on him. Cut out the slapper in the middle. No, jealous of Willis. Well, you can't even tell me his name. Yeah, well, there'll be plenty of time for talking. When I get to your age. Nice hotel. Is there a minibar? Oh, don't go in there. I'm ready to sleep. <laughs> Sorry, Ray, mate. <laughs> Who's Ray? My dad, well, technically. You got a technical dad? <laughs> Useful. <laughs> Not in there either, cos, um, dad's on the sofa. Right. <laughs> a different dad. <laughs> a non-technical one. <laughs> Just go upstairs and I'll fetch you something from the minibar. <laughs> OK. It's the, um, the left-hand door when you look at both doors. Right. No, left. <laughs> no, I mean right, as in right, I'll go on the one on the left. <laughs> Just don't go in the other one, because if you wake my grand, you keep my mum up my dream all night. And... I'll tell you what, I'll wait here. No, 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 go in the left-hand door and wait for me there, OK? Oh, but uh, don't turn the light on in my room because you'll wake the baby. The baby? Uh, did you run the date past Tracy? First time Deirdre's ever listened to me. Ah, uh, give me a chance. <laughs> Was it him who made you change your mind? No. We just had a conversation. A conversation? Oh, Ken, don't start. Can't you just be pleased? Ah, speak of the devil. Me or him? Morning. Who's really known as technical, then? Oh, right, well, um, that's me ma'am, that's me dad, and that's Ray. <laughs> this is, um, Nathan. Yeah. Nathan. <laughs> you sure? Not Tom, Dick or Harry? Or are you saving them for next week? No, oh, here we go. Got a problem with him, have you? No. No, I've got a problem with you. Trawling for another baby, are you? Using this place like a brothel for fun? All right, Ray. You have got no right to say out about my life. Good, I'm glad. So should you be. Because if it were up to me, I'd have you thrown out in the street till you learn some respect. <laughs> yeah, well, you can't throw anyone out anywhere because this is our house and not yours. The only thing in this house that's yours, Ray, is the morphine. So why don't you take the lot, eh? That's enough, Tracy. Nathan, um, would you like a cup of tea? Uh, I, th I think I left my jacket upstairs. I I'll just go and get it. Ray is the morphine. So why don't you take the lot, eh? That's enough, Tracy. Nathan, um, would you like a cup of tea? Uh, I, th I think I left my jacket upstairs. I I'll just go and get it. Deserted. I must have been the only one to cop off last night. Yeah, well, if you'd have waited two minutes, I'd have come with you. Another two minutes in your house. I'd have gone as mad as them lot. Oh, and I suppose your family's completely normal. Well, I don't have a grand like yours. It was like meeting Gollum in a nighty. <laughs> How was it? Hi, Louise, it's Steve. Hiya. Listen, I uh, wondered whether I could pick your brains again. It's a complicated one, this. When a child is not in the immediate care of her father, is it considered OK um, for him to ask a strange woman out for a drink? Hypothetically, that is. Compulsory, is it? Well, uh, well, you're the expert. Do you know of any... Um, have any strange women who would like to meet me in the roses for a drink? If I'm going to get a snog every time I insult your family, then I've got something to say about your mum's waist belt. I think you're funny, you, don't you? I'd say looks, charms, sex appeal, body and intelligence have the edge of a funny, but yeah, yeah, pretty funny. Anyway, love the stop. We've got to see a man about a job. No, I. What job? You teach arrogant studies at college, do you? No, I'm a mechanic. And a good one. A mechanic? Mm -hmm. You know, the bloke down the road's just lost a mechanic. In fact, I could give you a few tips to get on the right side of him. Yeah? Yeah. Come on, you can drop me off at the shop on the way. 